PK, a lot to talk about from this game tonight. Do you feel as though you got a bit lucky with the VAR call at the end there, the challenge, uh, lucky on Miller? I, I don't make that decision. Um, so for me, the, the VAR or the, the refs are there to make a decision, and that's the decision that they made. So, you know, that's gone against us sometimes, I, I think. Um, but where, where I saw it, um, and I was actually looking at the video, I didn't see um, the actual, because the ball was blocking the foot, so I actually didn't see the contact. But obviously, you know, um, Central Coast would say maybe it is a penalty, so <laughs> it's half half and half, you know. But I, to be honest with you, where I saw it, I didn't actually see it greatly. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, the VAR is there to do their job, and, you know, they said it wasn't a pen, so we move on. <laughs> Might as well get the talking points out of the way. What did you see on the Tilio uh, penalty VAR decision? Do you think they got that one right? Well, if you see the, the challenge, he actually rode the challenge. I think it's the second phase where he actually gets clipped. Um, the first one, he stays up. So uh, he's got momentum. But again, because I was right behind it, uh, I only saw the second phase of the, the leg and the contact that was made in the box. Again, was it would it be a foul? Um, in normal play, I think that maybe the ref might give advantage and maybe that's what he did. I, I don't know. Um, but where I saw it from, it looked like Marco broke the, the first challenge um, and it was the, the second phase of the, the contact that got him down. PK, this isn't the first game we've had really sort of de delayed, lengthy calls from the VAR. You know, a lot of time for the referee to make these decisions. And again, we saw it tonight. I mean, what, what are your views on this? Are they taking too long to make these choices? <sighs> I don't know because, you know, why was the VAR brought in to, you know, to, to help human, uh, human, a human decision or a human error? Um, so, um, you know, end of the day, you know, the, the ref went to look for himself and he, he made the decision. You know, uh, with time, I, I don't know if there's a, a limited time or a maximum time. I, I don't make that rule or, you know, in the day it's not part of my job. Um, but, but I think the VAR is there to do, you know, make a decision where maybe uh, the ref might not be able to see it. And at the end of the day, the ref calls and makes the decision from both. It's not the VAR, it's him making the decision from both. You were a central defender, PK, back in your day. Would you have appreciated the VAR as it currently exists back then? Uh, there's a lot of things that have changed in football. There's, a, you know, there's yellows that I wouldn't even think it's a yellow. You know, that's. You know, that's the times that we live in now. That's the game. That's the way the, the game is, uh, you know, um, is going at, at, at times, you know. So, you know, you have to sort of respect uh, the decision of, you know, what the sort of the ref makes or the VAR makes. Um, you know, and, and again, we've been on those those uh, calls as well. So, you know, it, it, it's hard as a coach because, you know, football is divided by opinions, but in the day the VAR makes the decision, not me, you know. I, I don't do anything. All I do is, you know, try and coach the players. I don't make the VAR decision. Well, on the subject of players moving on from the VAR, you're back top of the table after a 3-2 win, at least until Western United play tomorrow. What were your thoughts on your boys' performance? Yeah, look, I think, I, I think look, I think, uh, you know, before the first goal, you know, I think we're, we're comfortable. Um, we had a few, you know, half chances um, and then obviously, you know, they score and, uh, again, it changes the game. Um, and then we went 2-1 up. You know, again, I thought, you know, we, we, we were good in patches. Obviously, we need still a lot of work to do. You know, we had a few chances where, you know, I think Lex got in and, and Collar, you know, if they if they score, it's a different game. But it, it didn't and, you know, we um, they get one back. And then we, we, we have, uh, you know, the... the the spirit and, and the determination to go again. Um, and, and that's what we did. And I'm, I'm proud of the players, you know, to do that. Andrew Nabu went down. Uh, looked like it was quite a nasty knock. I guess, how's he doing at the moment? Yeah, he's okay, you know. Um, I, I didn't actually see it, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but yeah, he, he's okay. It's just a, a, a knock. And Marco Tilio again today, fantastic. You know, another really, really solid performance. I guess, what were your views on his game today? Yeah, again, he was, he was okay. Uh, you know, again, you know, I'll always say about plays, you know, I think he needs a, a lot of work still. Um, but, you know, um, we keep doing that and, you know, try to educate him in the same time. So, you know, we'll keep pushing Marco to work hard and that's with everyone else in the squad too.
Just also quickly, it looked like Tom Glover maybe took his glove off and was shaking his hand in a bit of pain at the very end of the game there. Is, is he OK? Yeah, he's OK. Uh, you know, I thought maybe maybe the, the ball hit him in, in the wrong spot of the finger, but, you know, at the moment, uh, yeah, he's OK. I guess in many ways, too, the story remains. If you're scoring plenty of goals, you're still the, the, the attack looks like it's, it's working out in lots of ways, but you're leaking a lot as well. What do you need to change to yeah. fix that up at the back? Yeah, last week we what was happened? What happened last week? So, <laughs> you know, it's, it happens sometimes. Do you want it to happen? No. Do you train it? Yes. Um, but you know, we we just need to improve to get better. And you know, uh, that's our job. That's my job to help the players to keep improving. And you know, again, sometimes they're half chances, and at the moment we've they're they're hurting us at at stages. So. You know, we need to get better at that. There's, there's no doubt about it. But you know, the, the players are training and working, yeah, towards that. But at the end of the day, the last few weeks, you've still kept finding ways to win, which has got to be pleasing, I guess, particularly yeah, considering yeah. how things are. Uh, again, that's that's not for me to say. It's you. You know, you're the one that says that on me. I just want to get the team better um, and keep improving our performances. Surely, you take a bit of pleasure from the results every now and again, Pico. Uh, honestly, I, I don't look at the ladder. I don't. Do anything, you know. All I do is, you know, try to improve the plays, try to get better in performance, you know, try to improve as a coach. Um, so you're constant trying to improve to get better, um, and, and that's what we do here. Well, you've got a short turnaround now coming up. You've got to play Sydney on Saturday. They've got an even shorter turnaround than you. Do you find you're getting better at managing these turnarounds as the season goes on? You're figuring out what works, what doesn't work. Uh, in that they've got no choice. You know, you have to adapt, and that's the way it is. Um, you know, so we do our best, and we adapt, and we we move on. Do you find the adaptions are coming easier though as the season goes on? Uh, it's just part of what it is. You know, it's there's no wrong or right answer. You know, we're not in a perfect scenario in terms of the of the league. You know, we. We know there's a lot of games to play. We know we have to go to Asia. There's all these, you know, where there's COVID hit, so you know, international breaks. So there's a lot of things that, you know, come in the season. But, you know, again, we, we take it, you know, game by game, day by day, and we, you know, we follow our processes towards that. And just maybe one quick last one. Matt Leckie, his feint today was very important in the Tilio goal. It was also a move that he started with his press. You kept telling us that he was going to come good. Do you think as though we are now approaching, like, what level of Matt Leckie are we seeing now? Can he go another level? I don't know. You're the one that writes about him, not me. So you decide that. Uh, we keep training him hard and, again, educating him. You know, I think you, you could have could have scored. Um, but I'm happy with the way he's going and the positions that he's getting himself into. Um, but, again, uh, things take time. So, uh, you know, my expectation on Matt obviously is different to you guys um, but for me you know again he had a solid game um, and we keep trying to improve him and educate him to get better